This is a how I invested 25,000 gold in Classic WoW and could raid log into TBC. All right. Let's see about this. Hey guys, uh, apologies in advance for whatever the fuck this is. I just woke up. Um, oh yeah, so I'm okay. I'm making this video in response to um, other YouTubers yeah. making like super heavy clickbaity videos that get a lot of views, mm -hmm. showing like raw gold in the game. Uh, basically, if you ever stockpile gold in this game above like one two thousand gold, mm -hmm. you're doing it wrong. There's yep. no reason to have a lot of raw gold. And um, there's really? no interest rate in this game, obviously. So all that money you have is just decaying over time, losing its value day by day. Everything in vanilla gets more expensive as the game progresses. This guy's actually really smart already. Th this guy's actually really, really smart. Like, already, he knows what he's talking about. Yeah, th this is good. And you're just wasting your time by doing that. And you're actively losing money. This window that you see here, mm -hmm. I'm not sure how much this is worth right now, but let's just give an arbitrary number, um, 500 gold. It's probably worth more, like seven, 800, I'm not sure. Okay. It's it's going to double in value, and more than that uh, by the end of the game. So um, this is my first character. Uh, I'm just gonna move on through them. I have about eight bank alts. The way I what gain all this money fuck? is by uh, just AWE farming CF and then later DM. Also Maradon. This is like probably the most valuable character I have. This is worth over 10,000 gold. Uh, wow! Good like flasks. Um, wow! Elixirs. Look at them all! Look mm -hmm. at all those flasks! Oh Basically, my what god! I'm in, and then, like, the philosophy behind it is um, investing in items that I will need myself. What the fuck? Um, that are also very likely to go that up That is price. a lot, man. This is just a bunch of herbs, things I've yet to It's a lot of Black Lotus, I know. So, uh... How's that even my, possible? Uh, investments are in, uh, Elixirs, PvP, consumables. Dude! Um... <laughs> Stone scale eels uh, for the fucking defense potions? Oh my I god! I will need myself for ranking in phase 2. So, even if by some freak occurrence, you know, Blizzard could at any point make any change that I can't account for. It will still be valuable. So he just has an entire character full of grenades. This is just uh, thorium grenades, uh, like over one thousand. Imagine dedicating an entire character for bombs. This They're is great. Ranking. What the fuck, man? And then here I have uh, what the fuck what's called invest grace, which is mainly just items that I think are really likely to go up a lot in price. This is a heart of fire. Uh, this is a heart of fire. Yeah. Uh, later used, or currently in the game it has no use more or less, but later on there's a patch, 1.9 I think, when um, you can transmute one of these with alchemy into three elemental fire from one of these. Oh! Uh, and it has a 10 minute oh. cooldown, so if you have a bunch of level 35 alts, you can make uh, hundreds of gold per hour at that point in that patch. Wow. Um, transmuting this. This is like uh, holy shit, close man! To one thousand heart of fire, so close to three thousand elemental fire if transmuted. There are obviously six gold each right now on my server. This uh, is fucking yeah. insane. As I said initially, I'm just making this video because uh, I'm getting a bit triggered by YouTubers <laughs> making money showing raw gold. When, yeah. Uh, it's just sad to see because raw gold. It's like you're throwing it out the window or draining it down the toilet. It's only losing its value for every day that passes. Here's why people do that is because it's good visually. Uh, it, it's, it's a good visual thing. And this is something people need to always realize whenever you're dealing with people that are streaming or doing things on YouTube. Is that the, uh, like the consumption of the content always is taken into consideration when the content is being created. So for example, Seeing 10,000 gold on one character for an average casual player is more impressive to them than seeing a bunch of flasks because they don't really understand how much money that's worth. So videos that show raw gold can appeal to more people and can engage more people than something like this can, even though the neckbeards know that this is actually what's the most impressive. These are just uh, Goblin Rocket Boots. Also, yeah. plan to use them in the rank 14 grind. 
need to enchant them all at minor speed. That will be another 300 gold, actually. <laughs> <That's crazy. gasps> what the fuck, man? This uh, is another alt that isn't really about money making. It's just a uh, bunch of rooms around and uh, like stamina to items to have like uh, more or less 100% uptime and ranking. And also enough for the rest of the rates for of vanilla. This is uh, from like an investment perspective a good alt to look at. It's just protection potions, so uh, elemental earth from uh, farming Marodon. Wow. And uh, on the note of Marodon farming, actually for mages, I think. Wow. Marodon farming will uh, might even already be better than DM, and definitely will become better than DM. Holy shit, dude! The video on my channel. Because elemental earth prices are rising, they're already close to two gold on my server, and solid stone. Uh, I've Isn't this fucking awesome that the game can be played like this? Isn't this fucking cool that somebody can do this? I love this. This is why I I like more open-ended games. Is that it's boring for you, for you, for somebody like this guy, or for like train? This is what the game is all about. Like, to be able to, you know, like, run different markets and be able to control markets in the game and things like that, that's really cool for some people. I think that's awesome. Like, I used to do that all the time. I did this exact same thing in Vanilla WoW. Like, obviously not to the same extent, but I remember I had, like, one or two different consumable items that I would buy and sell and try to set the price for whenever I was, like, 16 or 17 years old. I did this all the time. Everybody did it. And I enjoyed it. I got a lot of fulfillment out of doing this. And I think it's so fucking cool that people nowadays are taking it to the Kang. Wait, what do you mean? Wait, we had Kang? Wait, we had Kang drop. Oh my God. All right, just a minute. All right, any greeters? Guys, are there any greeters? Any greeters, guys? Okay, all right, good luck to me. Ready? We'll get back to the video in a second. All right, any greeters? Oh, I didn't win. I didn't win Ken and I didn't get Kang, man. Fuck, dude. Fuck, man. Yo, how funny would it be if I had won that after I'm not doing anything in the whole run? Uh, can we do the, the, the uh, arena thing, too? I need the belt. Uh, okay, just a second. All right, let's start the rest of this. Uh, sorry, I wanted to see that. Oh, my God. We have fucking Kang drop. I didn't even notice that. Holy shit. I thought you guys were just saying that to be like, like racist or something, but no, no. <laughs> we actually had a drop. Oh my God. That's awesome. People get the auction house, actually good at stock markets IRL. Well, I don't know if it's necessarily like a one-to-one, -one, but I think that there's a trend. Absolutely. But yeah, no, I think this is so fucking cool that people can play the game this way and they can enjoy it and get fulfillment out of it and like know these things. And like, it's like, I don't know. I think it's awesome. It's into three gold. So yeah. And then, um, this is also a good item to invest in uh, Shadow Protection Potions. Yeah. Grey Moss and Fate Leaf are always insanely expensive on the launch of a server. A lot of my early money was invested into this. And then just other Protection Potions. For, Holy shit. Uh, Arcane protection, protection Potions. And uh, to help in PvP in general. As wow. Well as for the rest of the game. Wow. I have some Fire Protection stuff in the bank. I mean, the, in the oh mail. my god, man. But I need more of those. But then again, Heart of Fire will give me those for free later. <laughs> This is just uh, Ecos yeah. from uh, Witcher Spring. Uh, this is just for ranking as well as uh, chill with Eco being for investment. So he has all the different ones this too. This will be, um, or gives uh, 15 frost resistance. And uh, in Nax, obviously these will go up to like two gold each. Uh, chill with Ecos, I have hundreds of those. And then uh, this is just for breath protection in PvP, a lot of that stuff. Wow. This is for dodging in PvP. Very underused consumable. Like oh my ways. god. Like this item, Valkyrie gives me 30 intellect for zero mana cost, whereas Arcane Billions for Arcane Intellect, 1500 mana for the same spell. Wait, Religion so he's Warrant, using the eco instead of fucking the spell? These crystals always cheap in god the damn. server because people are doing questing in Ngoro, and then people need them for endgame later. I need to switch accounts now. Uh, the main issue with like stocking Wait, really? so much stuff as I am is um, bank space. So uh, he's got two sure. different accounts to hold all of his shit. Okay, this is like my mom. To, uh, I guess the more exciting. Like my mom did this. Does the same shit. 
Like, she actually has, like, instead of, like, two accounts, she has a... She's only in one guild uh, on her main, and all of her other characters are ungilded because they actually have their own guild, which is a separate private bank for each character that she has. Like, she has an entire bank that's just dedicated to blacksmithing stuff. Like, an entire massive guild bank with all of the tabs unlocked and everything. Like, I, I should show you guys. Like, I asked my mom. I'm like, uh, Mom, I need, like, uh, do you have, like, 600 black rock ore? And she looks with, like, her add-on that tells her, like, how much she has across all the characters. She had, like, 11,000. Like, 11,000 ore. And I'm like, yeah, can I get 600? She's like, I'll just send you 2,000. Send me back what you don't need. I'm like, whoa, okay, wow. Yeah, and, and like, she had that for everything. It was like a massive fucking, like, the thing is that, like, my mom, she, I wouldn't call her a hoarder, but she likes to get stuff. And whenever you combine that, liking to get stuff, with Amazon Prime and being able to order whatever you want because she just puts it on my credit card or my, my, my account. Um, our house is basically a miniature Amazon warehouse. Like whenever, and Izzy does the same thing. So whenever both of them are living here, I'm getting like five packages a day. Like, literally, like, I have to sit there at the end of my stream and open up boxes and give her the things that she's ordered, right? This is it. Uh, it it's insane. That's what your Twitch Primes are buying. You're, you're, you're buying uh, my mom, uh, where well, she bought plates the other day, nice plates, that reminded her of her grandmother. And, uh, you know, hey, uh, it's, it makes her happy, so I, I don't ever complain. Uh, bank, uh, bank account I have. Mm-hmm. I say bank account. Yeah, it is just a bank account. It's a WoW account only. That only has banks. Yeah. So this is uh, Mr. Fab Harder. It's just Fabs. Oh. Uh, I have way more in the mail. Just don't have space for them. That's obviously the main issue with bank calls. Fab Harder. I'm gonna stock it's a good name. Much. Just bank space. And bank space. This is just Swiftness potions. Some swim speed. God damn. As, as you can tell, I've also uh, tried to use all of these alts to uh, get more like Halloween wants. Uh, oh my god. The debuff for the Halloween wants uh, has a cooldown, right? And you need to be logged in for it to uh, go away, but randomly, whenever like server restarts or anything happen, uh, you lose the debuff and you can use it again without having been logged in. Uh, this How the fuck do you know that, man? I mean, he's min-maxing Halloween wands. I mean, this is the level that people play Vanilla WoW at. Min-maxing Halloween wands. Holy shit. This is uh, just scrolls, which is like another really underused uh, PvP consumable. Yeah. Bank uh, mail has like twice this amount. Uh, like these give magic buffs when you use them. Mm -hmm. And uh, so as a mage, obviously, when you pop five or four of these different kinds, it's just for buff protection, That's I'm assuming. Two extra purges for dispels. For yeah, yeah. So it can't. It, it's like lower chance for his other uh, important barrier, things to get dispelled. Huge. Oh my god. And then this is like the most underused or most underrated PvP consumable there is. Uh, I have like a thousand. I actually agree with that. Well. Yeah, I mean, a poison mm -hmm. and like, you this know, all, all these things are business. fucking ridiculous. The good thing about this is that it sounds like really macro to have to spam these, like macro intensive. But the, uh, the item only lets itself be used if you actually have a poison to dispel, and it has no cooldown. So you Holy just macro shit. slash use elixir poison resistance into every one of your spells, slash, use, slash cast frostbolt, slash use this, and that way you will never have a poison on you for a long time. Dude, I don't want to duel this guy. It's been like a thousand gold to win. This is insane. Without any more macro, obviously. Uh, stamina food, really a good consumable for ranking. Insanely cheap, and um, you don't need to remain seated to gain the buff. So when you rest or when the buff runs out in phase two ranking, just use it and then instantly have another 100 HP. Pair that with the Rumsy Rum and um, Elixir of Fortitude, and you're. Is this really just going to be a bank full of sappers? More HP constantly. Is that really what's going to happen here? And then paired with the Scroll of Stamina, like 500 more HP. This is a very expensive alt. This is like 2.5k gold of sapper charges, 1k of them. Uh, like a really good use of these is to have oh a macro. Oh my slash god. Use flame 
deflector. I think that's what it's called. Uh, no Morgan cast uh, craft. Oh item. my god! Uh, slash use goblin sniper charge, so you don't take any damage when you <sighs> use the uh, use the item for free. Wow. So I have a lot of flame deflectors. Wow. Fire reflect deflectors as well. I I have like two of those, man. That's it. Got sappers on the rogue. Yeah, well, at least he's got him, man. And then this is just lips, uh, more in the mail. Yeah. Um, yeah, Holy shit, man! Or any of a lot of them. And then the other two backs are pretty boring. It's just. Uh, he named the character that has all of his limited and vulnerability potions, aka lips. He he named it DSLs. Okay, dude. Okay, dude. Bunch of light feathers and bandages. Yeah, I, I thought most people wouldn't pick up uh, on that. Yeah. I, I had to say it. The total value of all of my bank calls is about 20,000 gold. Oh my god. Uh, and then I farmed, obviously. Uh, 20,000 gold. B bought gear and shit for Yeah, this is the video here. I'll link it to you guys. I've farmed at least 20,000 gold, so no, 25,000 so far. What the fuck is this, man? And uh, I have everything I need pretty much to raid log until, if I wanted to, until TBC. Even a little bit into TBC. Holy but, shit, uh, man. I still need to farm that epic flying mount gold 5000. What the fuck, dude? What the fuck? The longest of long games? Yeah. If only invested this hard into Bitcoin in 2011. Certain YouTubers. Like, oh my god, man. This is just sad. Asmongold is awesome. Yo, true, dude. Big, big, big true. So true. This right here is called being a virgin, kids. Vic. Listen. If he sold all the gold he had, he would probably have more money than this guy has in his bank account. 